Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, another product empties. I haven't been doing this as much because I haven't been going through as many products. And also since I decided to stop sharing like repetitive things, I feel like I'm always using the same stuff. So a couple videos ago, I said I just wanted to share really like new products that I haven't mentioned before. And I think for the most part, I have all new products. So I'm excited to talk about them and just give my opinion. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the hair product first. This is from Hass Beauty. This is a coconut oil 5-in-1 leave-in spray. I think I talked about this in an Ulta haul. And at first I wasn't too sure how I felt about it, but I actually really like it and I bought a new one. You know, it's meant for nourishing and detangles your hair. I kind of just like to use it and if I have any flyaways or sometimes before going to the gym, if my hair is looking really dry from just sleeping and I haven't showered yet, I like to just spray it to like revive my curls. But yeah, I really like it. The scent isn't too bad. There is a little bit of like the coconut type of smell. I think it works really well and it doesn't give like a greasy type of look either. And it doesn't make your hair like crunchy or leave any type of white cast that like hairspray does. So this I did mention, I think on maybe a product empties for the conditioner. So I finally finished the shampoo and this is mixed with a body wash. I really like this. I felt like it made my hair really nice and moisturized, soft. And another thing that I like about this, a lot of the time I've seen, I know like Kourtney Kardashian talked about like, shampoos that you use can affect getting pimples and stuff on your back. So I feel like it's really good though that you can use this as a body wash because I feel like it will prevent that from happening because you can use this all over. I would repurchase this. I don't want to spend a crazy amount of money on shampoo. I tend to wash my hair every day or every other. So I go through shampoo very quickly. I'm still using the shampoo of the Shea Moisture. I don't like it. Let me just say it. I think it might just be me. Because the reviews on it were really good. I felt like I had to use a lot of this. And maybe it's just like my hair type isn't meant for this. I mean, it's for thick curly hair. Which my hair is pretty thick. It's curly. So I figured I fit into the category. I didn't think it made it soft at all. If anything, it almost felt like a Brillo pad or something. And I still am using the shampoo. But I'm just kind of using it to finish it. I'm going to pass on repurchasing this. So next I have this Ulta Bronze Glow Self Tanning Water Mousse. So this pretty much is just a foam tanning mousse that you can put all over it's for your face and body. And I like this for a while. I didn't think it lasted very long. And one thing I noticed about like doing it on my face, it would kind of extenuate, I think the word is, blackheads and stuff. It's kind of weird. I never noticed like I have like blackheads in my forehead. When I put this on, <laughs> it would like really show them off. So I think I'm going to pass on repurchasing this as well because... I don't know, I never had that happen before with a tanning lotion or like any type of tanning product. I want nobody to come for me in the comments. I like Victoria's Secret fragrances and like body sprays. Now, if I'm going out on a date or like something cute, I'm not going to wear a body spray. Going to work and stuff, I would wear body sprays. I don't care. Like, I'm not trying to be out here smelling good for y'all. Like, who coming to see me at work? Nobody. <laughs> or even like going to the gym. I don't like to just go with my natural body smell so I, I do like to just spray something not something that's overwhelming and gonna kill everyone at the gym but anyways this is just love spell frosted i think it does smell a little bit different than the original love spell and i think i might like this one more either way i like love spell so i would definitely repurchase i don't know this was during the holidays not this year like probably last year the year before so i don't even know if they still have this fragrance mist but if they do i would repurchase this we have a couple makeup products. So I actually have, I think, two that aren't completely finished, but I'm just going to get rid of. So one, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I don't have anything bad to say about it. The main reason I had purchased it, I think I was watching like a couple years ago, Casey Holmes. She's a YouTuber. She was always using this foundation. It looks so nice on her, which it does look very nice. Honestly, the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I probably got this like three or four years ago. It's really old. And I really just didn't use it because I never am one to use a foundation. I just kind of like to spot conceal anymore. I want to say I got it my freshman year of college, maybe my sophomore. And that's already been like five years, if that. So I'm going to get rid of this. But it's a really good foundation though. Another thing that's not completely finished, this eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is really old. I don't even know if they still have the Silk Kiss and Me eyeliners. I tried putting this on my waterline, which I probably shouldn't have because it's so old. The reason I've had this for so long is because... I knew that I didn't like it. It always irritated my contacts. 
and I tried using it today and it's just very soft at this point, the eyeliner itself. So I don't know if it's because it's so old or what, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Honestly, it's always irritated my eyes. I don't know why I've held on to it. But I did like the black one. The Still Kiss Me black one was so nice. But this one, I don't know, this something with the product just never was right. Two lip glosses. So one, this is from Essence Shine Shine Shine. I get so excited when I finish a lip gloss. Do you guys see that? Like there's a little bit at the bottom, but I, I get kind of grossed out once I'm gonna show you why I got grossed out. This is just their clear gloss. I don't know what the shade is, but this is so pretty. I already have a new one. I'm wearing it today. It's not sticky. It smells nice. Definitely recommend, and I will continue to repurchase this. The reason I got grossed out is because, okay, there's a little bit at the bottom, but like, what is, what is in the bottom there? What was on my lips that I was putting back in there? This is the Bratz and Makeup Revolution collab that came out a couple months ago. This was a huge lip gloss. I was putting this on like multiple times a day. And I'm going to pass on repurchasing this. It was a clear like plumping gloss and there's nothing wrong with it. I don't really know why I'm not going to repurchase. It wasn't as bad as like a Too Faced plumping, what is it, lip injection. That's on another level. This only like it tangles a little bit and it's not, it's like almost a minty tangle on your lips and that's it. I have other lip glosses I like. I don't need another clear gloss when I love my Essence one. Just something random. Like a lot of the product did get wasted because it would just come drooping down the sides. So that was something I didn't really like about the applicator and stuff, but it's not bad. I'm just not gonna repurchase. Another thing I'm not gonna repurchase is this Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. It's retractable. This just didn't last. I'm gonna say it's not breakup proof because if you're going through a breakup and you're depressed and crying, yeah, no, this eyeliner, <laughs> this eyeliner is not gonna be for you. I only put eyeliner on my top lid so it lasts longer typically up top than on my waterline because my eyes water and the contacts and all that. So for this not to last on my top line, I feel like just is not good. I'm gonna pass on this. It's obviously affordable, but it's not worth it to me. I'm sure I've mentioned this, but just gonna briefly go over this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. I love the coverage. It's not extremely cakey. It blends out very nicely. This is probably like my second or third one, but I just love this so much. It's affordable. Get it at Ulta. The so Tarte Shape Tape, they had us in a chokehold for a long time. I like it. If it wasn't so expensive, I probably would repurchase. What is it, like $20 or something? Why, why do I feel like it's $29? I don't know how much it is. Is it $19, $29? I don't know. I've moved on. This is pretty old. This was part of like a holiday collection, as you can see with the lid. I like my drugstore price concealers. So that's what I'm gonna continue using. I think the coverage was really nice. I found new loves. So it's time for me to part ways with Tarte Shape Tape. My last empty is another Wet n Wild product. This is the Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow. So this was just the gold shade a year ago or so. I was obsessed with doing like a gold wing eyeliner and just like gold eyeshadow like all over. I've pretty much grown out of that phase because I've gotten lazy when it's come to eyeshadow. But definitely for like the holidays, this is really pretty. I would repurchase. It's really easy to apply. It's kind of like a concealer applicator and it's very easy to work with. It stays wet for a while so you can play around with it. And I think the finish of it is just so beautiful. I don't know if they still sell these, but I would recommend it if you are looking for a liquid eyeshadow. Those are all my product empties for this month. Let me know if you've tried out any of these products, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.